Okay. So, as promised, this class today will be devoted entirely to the discussion of the format and the methodology of the final project. I will show you the various suggestions and recommendations that are include, included in this page and discuss some of the particulars with you at the end of this class after answering any questions. I will proceed with the illustration of at least one example. I have prepared three suitable examples, but there is one that is manageable, short enough that we can quickly go through it in class. However, I expect this kind of activity on the examples not to be completed entirely today and some or most of it will be uh, shifted onto Thursday's class. I think there will be enough time on Thursday for the continuation of the review of the silent films and maybe some other activities as well. I would like you individually or in group to look at the examples and come up with ideas and try and see how it works for you if you think this is uh, uh, understandable. Okay, so I'll sit down and scroll through the page, read with you, add my commentary, uh, which means that especially for the people on this side, if you want my attention, please call me if I don't see you raising your hand. You can access this page from the home page and other key pages inside the class wiki at the end of the lectures and readings page, at the end of the announcements page. And by the way, I forgot to add in regards to announcements that I have completed my review and graded of all the assignments and participation notes that are posted inside your Google Docs file. So go and review my comments and my grades and let me know if you have any questions. I also reviewed all the written participation notes and as usual, they're there in alphabetical order by last name for you to pick up at the end of the class. I'll try to finish earlier to give you a few minutes to pick up those notes since I have a lot, not just the latest, the second set of notes about Christine, but I also have notes from previous activities that were never picked up. Okay? And some of the changes to this page were done during the morning of today. This in case you reviewed this page earlier, the page has been expanded. You find in here a description of the project. Our project will not be a traditional paper. It'll be a kind of archival research and cataloging project. Think of it as if altogether we were building a wiki about the automobile and narratives, short narratives, on the automobile, found in digital archives and dated to the earliest part of the introduction of the automobile in society, more or less between 1900 and 1915 or 1920. You are supposed to find three short stories in inside any of the magazines listed here from that era. I'll show you the links later. And once you found a short story that has a strong focus on the automobile, then you have to go through a process of cataloging the contents, following more or less a template. It's almost like a template. There are a series of recommendations for sections. Each of 
the various subsections of this template being a short treatment of the short story in reference to one aspect or the other okay so once you found a document that can be included in this project then you just go through a series of steps to show your understanding of the concepts introduced in the class keep in mind that the project is connected to an oral presentation by the time you give your oral presentation you don't have to have your project finished you could do your present presentation on one of the short stories in your project or two you could limit your, your, your presentation to some aspects or passages. The presentation is an opportunity for you to present what you think are the most interesting aspects of the documents you found and also receive feedback from me, right? Where I can say, there is more to this document that you can explore, or maybe this is not the best document to include in your project. And then after the presentation, you will have time before the eventual deadline to complete, refine, and make your project overall better. I'm not going to go through every note you find in here. For example, as far as the focal points, the focal points are the same kind of themes and ideas that I have emphasized practically every week. So the reactions to the introduction of this kind of technology, especially in reference to physiological and psychological reaction to the purchase, the use of the technology. And of course, we're trying to work on specific language that is being used to describe the use of the, the interaction with the new technology. We are working on primary sources, meaning that we're doing work on documents that we can identify as relevant for the study of this topic. Meaning there is no one to tell you, go there or pick this document instead of the other. You have to come up with a matrix, a filter to find what is relevant with the help also of the examples and keep in mind that later on there will be an assignment the next assignment by the way is due on the 20th on Friday and it's on Molly Randolph as a new woman dealing with the technology of the automobile but later on there will be another assignment where you find at least one good example for the project and you simply include a link to that example and a paragraph about it, explaining why you found it useful or good enough for the project so that I can provide feed feedback and say, this is a perfect example, or this is a weak example, or this is a good example, but you could find better. Because ultimately, since you already have a procedure on how to treat the documents you find, a lot of the quality of your project is based on the value of your choices, right? Whether or not you choose a short story where the automobile really gets a special treatment, gets a lot of focus, right? It would be like selecting a film on the automobile among modern films. 90% of modern films include scenes where one of the characters is taking an automobile, but you wouldn't include it for that reason. You would include a film in a project on the automobile and cinema if it was a film about a race car driver, if it was a film about a road trip, right? You need to find some relevant use of the automobile in the narrative to justify the inclusion, not just the fact that at some point someone is using a car, which by 1910, 1915 is almost the norm, right? As more and more people in American society get to use or own an automobile. 
So our primary sources are, as I said, magazines, but not really specialized magazines on the automobile. There were a lot of magazines during that era about the automobile itself, the horseless carriage, automobile topics, a lot of specialized magazines, journals. However, they're not always the best source for this kind of project because as you can expect they mostly published either technical articles about the automobile and the technical innovations about the latest models or they published articles on automobile and society about rules about laws affecting the use of the automobile Sometimes they included jokes or short stories. However, what we're working on were magazines during that period, the early 1900s. It was really the golden era of magazines. A lot of people purchased magazines that were weekly or more frequently monthly magazines that included both general articles but also a lot of short stories. People really enjoyed reading simple short stories that were not high literature in, in terms of quality, but a form of popular entertainment. Imagine the early 1900s. Imagine a society without phones, without TV, without the internet. But people still want to entertain themselves. Compared to the 19th century, People can enjoy the benefit of long evenings because they have lights in their house and they either go out, go to a restaurant, go to a bar, go to a theater. People go to theater all the time and they also spend a lot of time reading during the evenings. So within that group of magazines that are, are general, that offer topics of all kinds, not just about the automobile. When the automobile becomes fashionable, you find there lots of articles and short stories about the automobile. That's what we're working, where we're working, and that's what we are looking for. And I've listed some of the choices, right? Your project has to be on these sources, and I may add a few more, although I think already we have enough, meaning you don't start this project by going on google.com and typing automobile and short story. That's not how you do it, because you would be finding things that are not specific to the focus of this class necessarily, okay? That's why the sources are specified here. For example, and I, I've listed them in alphabetical order. The first two examples are Arpers Bazaar and Arpers Magazine. And these are the kind of links that you find in here. For each magazine, you find a list to collections. And I haven't used primarily Google Books because Google Books is good as a digital archive. If you're looking for a specific if you're looking for a collection, especially a collection of magazines or journals, then Google Books is terrible, promising to give you an idea of what is available, but in fact hiding from you a lot of what is available. Let me give you an example from Harper's Magazine. If you go to this collection, which was created by a consortium of universities, although Mind you, your own Stony Brook University was not a partner and, and still there is material in here that Stony Brook users cannot access for that reason. But if you go to Adi Trust, then the link I provided you with, let me zoom in so that everyone can read even from the back, takes you to a series of links, most of them open, unless you find the lock icon, and, and which means that you cannot read everything, but most of this is full view. 
And of course, it's the entire collection, every issue that has survived or Harper's Magazine, but we're not interested in this period, right? 1857. And even after automobiles were introduced in 1885, around that time, you find the earliest prototypes, you don't expect to find much. Some things can be found in these issues, but it would take too much time. So just jump ahead and go all the way to at least 1902, preferably 1906 or later, because it is around 1906 that the automobile becomes so popular and more accessible to a variety of consumers, not just the wealthiest part of society, that this product generates a lot of attention, which means if there is attention in society, journals will follow that and publish articles and publish entertainment on that topic in the form specifically of short stories. So from here, you can access any of the relevant numbers. And at when should you stop? I suggested earlier 1915 or 1920, but the problem is, is similar to what I explained for the films. The later you go, especially past 1910, 1915, the more hits you find if you're looking for the word automobile, car, motor car. But simply because there will be so many articles mentioned in this product, which is owned or used at this point by millions of people, but it will be harder to find what you're looking for, which is a short story where the automobile plays a part that is significant. Whereas if you go to the earlier part of the spectrum, 1902 to 1907, let's say, there will be fewer hits. You will need a little more time to find a short story, but chances are if you find a short story with several references to the automobile that that'll be usable or significant. So it's up to you and you don't have to look for everything, right? You just need three documents for your projects, but start with one. Start with one and use it for the late October assignment or early November so that you know from me that you have a good choice, you understand what you look for. So let me give you an example. Let's go to the full view of 1907, 1908. Once you click on this inside Adi Trust, you have the entire magazine, and this is a collection of several issues. In fact, you see here how there are pages up to 1242. And from here on, you can, it's up to you, you can either just crawl and ignore the ads, ignore the articles, just look for titles, and when you see a title or an illustration next to the title that looks promising, you can stop and you can read. But even just by looking at it, by reading the title, I could go even more quickly, right? Until I find something. However, you don't necessarily have to flip through the pages. You can also use the search box, right? search in this text and in here you can put automobile or other keywords and i've included a list of keywords because some of the language is different for example during this period motor car was very common for automobiles automobile was a word that was used more often than car motor just motor sometimes was used to designate a car. But let's see, I just use automobile, nothing more. And when I click this, I could specify open results in a new tab if I don't want to crowd the side of the screen in here. But right now I'm doing the simplest, more direct approach, waiting for the results. 
it might take a little bit of time because the results are found across hundreds of pages, right? And you see here, I have the quick keywording context provided. I have a clickable link if I want to see the page, but I also have the keyword I'm looking for and the context. So if I want to, I can have a look and I can scroll and see if there is anything that would suggest that I should click on the page, right? And if I want to, if I want to see more, I click on the link and I see what's there and if it is of any use to me. In fact, I can see right away that even though this page has, what, five references to the automobile, it's an ad, not a short story, so I'm not interested. Some of these collections digital archives allow you to do complex searches such as automobile or you have to write or or in capital letters usually and you can add more options automobile or motor car or car then I I'll select to show you the alternative open results in a new tab I click again and this time I can only focus on the passages on the hits right it's in front of me of course I can zoom in to let you see more and again the idea is to guess from here from this presentation if any of these pages are pages from a short story because that's what I'm looking for eventually. In my case, I, when I looked for the three examples that I provided in the page, it took me less than an hour. Of course, I'm more familiar with these magazines, but I was not basing my research on memory, saying, I remember this story, let me find it. I just use keywords and I intentionally used a, at least one magazine that I hadn't frequented much before, okay? It might take you a little longer, but keep in mind that you have to commit a little bit of time to the actual exploration, to the actual research. And you have a variety of options, but you could get three short stories from a single file, the variety of options is such that you can find, e find it easier to work with this magazine rather than another, etc. Or you might find that uh, there is a source that gives you more hits and more options. Let me just show you alternative archives. In this case, the Internet Archive, I programmed the link to show Harper's Magazine and I changed the date, I, I narrowed the dates of the research to the period from 1903 to 1915. And of course, I could change, right? If I want to change this, I can use the same link, let's say 1902 to 1906. And then I can click, right? And once again, I can just flip through the pages until I see an illustration or a title that makes me believe that I have found a short story. Then I still have to decide whether the short story is enough, meaning has enough of a focus on the automobile, or I can use the search inside. So I'll put car in here for example and these will be presented in here right and the results will also be on at the bottom right and I can see when I click the actual results and you can see also of course I get some false positives this is just carrying broken in two that gives me car, right, etc. And I can decide to visit any 
of these specific pages where the word will be offered in its context. So you find a few options here. The next one is live, a magazine with a long history, a very popular magazine. I've included specific issues, but then also at the end you find a link to all the issues that are available online in this particular digital archive. Mansi's, same thing, Mansi's on Avitrust. And let me show you what happens when you use Google Books, <clears throat> which is great, but not reliable. Okay, so I go here and I have Mansi's Magazine Volume 29. And then from here as well, I can scroll until I find something or in here in this search box, I can put automobile and here too, you can use Boolean operators or are in capital letters. So I can put automobile or motor car or car or motor, I can extend this as much as I want. Then I press go and I have 99 results, right? And they're organized by relevance. I can organize them by paper. And then when I see a lot of these uh, references, I can open a page, <coughs> right? Of course, again, Keep in mind that these are general magazines. Therefore, you might find something like this, which is not to be included because it's a simple, regular kind of article. This is just an article on the automobile, whereas we are looking for specifically short stories on the automobile. But again, with a little bit of time and a little bit of patience, I would also be able to find among the references a short story. Of course, I, I don't even see too well from here. Okay, but this, for example, would be one such story. Senate Bill number 22, The Secret History of a Mysterious Legislative Failure, is not an article, but you find out, find out right away when you start reading that it is a short story. Okay, Now, let me show you how you would go about using Google Books to look for these issues. It's not that easy, but it can be done. You go here to the left, where it says about this book, see here and when i click and i go down i have other editions now the deceiving part is that you might think that view all actually means what it says but it doesn't when i click view all most times i find other links that are not exactly clickable right for example, when you see here snippet view, it means that there is only limited availability, right? And of course I have to go and continue, but even though it was promising me 15 or 16 pages of this, it looks like they don't even have Mansis, but I just read this magazine. So this would be an egregious example of Google trying to hide the contents from the users because they are constantly afraid that someone will download too much of their archives and contents. So in fact, if you want to use Google from a single issue of a magazine, then you have to go here. And even though this is not complete, it's kind of a random selection of connected documents, this will be the 1905 edition, right? This was what, 1903, this would be 1905. So I can move here and I can do, perform the same search in here, automobile, motor car, car, motor, 
and I find 74 hits and then I go here and I see if I can find a short story right this would be possibly one of those stories right I find a lot of references the only dashwood seems to be a short story or a novella with plenty of references to the automobile so worth a look worth a second look okay but if I want to continue and look at other years again from the 1905 edition I have to go here and see other edition and I say let's say 1913 and, and go look at this one okay so Avi Trust offers you a comprehensive list of all the issues that from that era that are actually available Google usually has most of what Avi Trust will offer you but they're not giving you the, the list. You have to jump here and there to find it. And even if you put the title of the magazine in here, you might not get what you're looking for. It's up to Google to decide. And the results change from user to user from time to time. I used to teach a class on Google search and the randomness of Google search. So, oh, sorry, in title, Mansi gives you some of the magazines but not many right I have 1892 1893 and then it's jumping to something else entirely so even when I look for every item in the Google Books collection where Manzi is in the title they don't give me in this list the links to things that I just saw the 1905 issue, the 1913, the 1915 edition. They're not here, but I know you have them. So why are you hiding this from me? Big corporate monster that will never hire you, even if you dream of being hired by them. Okay, I'm joking. <laughs> they will eventually hire you after playing a few games with you. Right, though, you and you have to undergo a psychological test, an IQ test, and, and often those will be masqueraded as something else, but they are testing you, both your personality and your IQ before they hire you. Okay, the next I included here is Scribner's Magazine, some issues, and then all of the issues on Abbey Trust, and the same for the Cosmopolitan, and Based on my past experience, I suggested not going lower than 1906 for this because you very you seldom find stories. Okay? So besides I'm, I'm skipping some of the sections, let's go to the core of this page, which is the methodology or if you want the template for the treatment of each story in this group of three that you're supposed to find. Let's review the first section about what you're looking for, right? You need a short story, but what is a short story that is appropriate for this project? First of all, the themes, the contents are important, right? You need a short story where the automobile plays a part. It's not just there. It's not just that at some point the character gets out of the house, gets in a car and goes to a restaurant. If that's the extent of the references to the car, then you have nothing to analyze, nothing to discuss. And on the opposite side of the spectrum, you would have a story where a man and a woman who are strangers fall in love because the man gives a ride to the woman because she's stranded on a road, her carriage or her horse uh, cannot take her to her destination, right? In, in there, in that kind of story, you would find a crucial part played by the automobile. The story, of course, cannot be too short. Some of the stories you might find are short dialogues, Anything like that, 
that doesn't have prose, that doesn't develop a story, would not be recommended. Cannot be too short. Sometimes these magazines include pieces that are like jokes, right? Only a few paragraphs. Sometimes they're social vignettes, meaning a short piece that makes fun of, let's say, the mania for the automobile, again, in one or two paragraphs. A parody, the profile of a social customer, a social profile, a social type, the type of guy interested in the automobile or addicted to this new technology. Make sure that whatever you find is long enough, has preferably multiple characters, or even if there is just one character, that the character goes through a story, go, goes through a development. Stay away from chapters of novels. Very often, these magazines published novels in installments, publishing one chapter or a group of chapters at a time and publishing the entire novel through a year, 18 months, sometimes as little as six months, don't use that. They're not short stories. And usually you can understand the difference. You can see when what you have in front of you is fiction, maybe fiction on the automobile, but not a short story, right? Because the first page might say chapter 14, or at the end it might say to be continued, right? So as much as you can try to discriminate, try to understand is if what you have in front of you is part of a novel and discard that option. For a story to be a story worthy of our attention, you have to have characters that are well-defined, right? In one way or the other, and, and some kind of narrative arc. It doesn't matter if you have a lot of twists. You may not have enough or as many as you would find in a story of today, but you'll see. When you find these stories, you'll see what I mean. And again, I've included in this the same warning I just gave you. The references should not be merely incidental, such as characters are talking and a car goes by. That's just in the background. It has nothing to do with the core of the story. But if, if it is the story of a couple purchasing their first car, and then the story of their experience with this purchase, with this new technology, then the car is really at the center of the story and therefore I have something that I can use for my project. <clears throat> so from number two on, you actually have what I call, what I refer to as the template, right? And you can pretty much follow this, make this, a series of separate subsections for each short story, right? As I said before, it's not a paper, it's not a collection of three short papers, your project. It's the cataloging of three short stories. So the first part of your short catalog is, of course, bibliographical references. You start the section for your first short story of your project with the title, the name of the author, if you find it, sometimes the stories will be published anonymously, which is fine. You, or you can add by anonymous. <coughs> sometimes you find only the initials, TM, and maybe there is no way to know who the author is. What page, the, the page numbers, the date, and the title of the publication, right? And I'll, you'll see that in my example. You also need to include a clickable link that will take the user, primarily me, to the story itself, right? So that I can review the story in order to understand the kind of work you've done on it. And maybe later or on Thursday, I'll show you with the problem with the link. For example, if you use Google, 
normally the link you find on top is not usable. Let's say we have an example from earlier. According to Collins Dictionary, the match has been moved to an yeah, earlier no, time. I'm not talking to I you, to Google Assistant. Earlier. I can't come in earlier. She left earlier than us. Yep. Okay, whatever. So, if I find something in here, let's say this is a story I want to link. Normally, if I copy the URL up there, there is no guarantee that the URL will bring me back here. Let's see. It works sometimes, you know? One of the things Google does is change their interface constantly. So you see, I copied the URL from the browser, right? But it's taking me to the first page, not to the page I wanted to link where allegedly my story is. So for, for Google, what I have to do is go here. You see this icon, which represents the link. This is what I have to copy, where it says paste link in email or EM. If I copy that and then I use it, then it's taking me there. So, and, and this is a dynamic link. Therefore, if I change it, even if I just change it by scrolling halfway through the page, then this has changed and should take me there instead of showing, no, okay, it, it depends. Sometimes it registers even a sh short change. Sometimes you have to click a few times before this happens. For Avitrust instead, the link, again, don't use this link up, up here, doesn't always work, use share, in here, right? And then you have permanent link to this item, link to this page scan, and if I copy this, it should take me again to the Franklin app page. There it is, okay? So again, I haven't copied from up here, but from here. And again, when you get the link for your project, click on it, see what happens, make sure that I can go and find your story. Because we're not talking about a project on Romeo and Juliet. I need to read your story myself most of the time. I'm familiar with some of those stories, but their number is large, okay? So include the link after the bibliographical references. If an author is named, Find out just a little bit about the author. Do a simple Google search, see if the author is mentioned in some encyclopedia. If you can identify the author, right? You may not be able, you may not be able to find who the author is among the people with the same first and last name. But if you do find that person, then mention the source of the information you find, but it'll be British author, when date of birth, date of death, and a few other things, just a couple of lines, two or three lines. Next, in this first section, you, in one or two lines only, classify or describe the style, the shortest possible description or classification. It could be humorous story on a couple purchasing their first automobile, right? Could be a tragic story about a character dying in an automobile accident. A couple fall in love thanks to an automobile, okay? Something as simple as that. Having read the story, come up with a short description that would belong to some kind of taxonomy. And if you find 
that the story was published elsewhere. Sometimes these stories were published in multiple magazines or in magazines and in a book by the author. Mention that if you find out. Notice I wrote, you may mention, right? It's not a requirement. But if you come across that information, do include that. Again, it's a one line. Also published in, and then reference. And again, if you come across books or articles that included reference to this short story, chances are most of these short stories have never been analyzed or discussed by scholars. But if you do, include a quick reference. Nothing more than that. Next section of your template, a short synopsis. Of course, it shouldn't be a generic synopsis. You should focus mostly on the role of the automobile, right? And a suggestion, you may have to, but you may include a brief profile of the main characters, right? If it is a story about a couple, who's the man, who's the woman, socially and psychologically? Again, just a couple of lines, a few lines would be sufficient. Next section, include extract from the short story a few relevant quotes, relevant for the theme of the automobile, the most relevant. And today and or Thursday, working on one of those examples, I'll give you my idea of what a relevant quote would be in the short story that I used to exemplify the work. The next section is a brief analysis. All of these sections are supposed to be brief, right? Of course, stick to what is relevant and don't include things such as, well, cars of today are different. In this story, we read that the car is traveling 12 miles per hour and now 12 miles is a ridiculous speed. It's not really adding any value to your analysis, right? So be careful to add specific analytical comments or observations. And I've provided you with some ideas, right? Because there are patterns, there are tropes, common themes that we've identified so far. For example, the idea that before the interaction with the product, with the automobile, there is some anticipation or fascination with the product, even before the product is used. Then there is the falling in love with the technology, the seduction or the rapture, rapture meaning that the character is completely absorbed by this experience. And this could also happen in the form of an abduction or loss of control. Someone is on top of the car and they cannot control the car. After that, there might be the distraction of the car or separation from this technology. The character decides, I don't want anything to do with it. That's very relevant for us. Or there might be other consequences. In some way, the lives of the characters was different before the automobile. It is different after the automobile. That is very relevant for your analysis. So you don't have to come up with creative ideas. You, just have to show that you're able to identify these tropes. And the representation of the automobile is a modern technology. There are suggestions in this page that was a required reading at the beginning of the semester where you see what is a modern technology as to be individual or personal. And there is a long explanation has to be connected to a utilitarian function, but also have some superfluous functions, immaterial functions, immaterial qualities, etc. So you can consult that page as guidance when you work on this. Okay, other themes we're interested in, 
in general the interactions between human and machine especially when those interactions are symbiotic meaning that the car and the human become one with the technology what happens with the identity of the user of the automobile is that identity extended or transformed in some form it could be the private identity what the character thinks of himself herself or the public identity and, and this has to do also with the early culture of consumerism meaning the earliest form of the idea I need to buy this product because once I have that product my life will be radically different and my experiences will be such that I would never have those the same experiences if I didn't own that product specific themes that are easy to analyze are the motto romance when the automobile makes two people fall in love gender meaning the idea that women driving reach a certain level of equality with men that the technology doesn't present barriers to either gender the idea that there are big supporters fanatics friends or allies of the technology and big enemies of the technology is also a recurring theme and additional themes that we want to focus on include the mania for the automobile the addiction to speed the effects of driving on the body on the psyche as part of the analysis you may also compare each story in your group of three to another and you repeat this process for each story for a, a total of 2400 to 3000 including quotes and keep in mind that the stories you'll find are different so you don't have to follow the template to the letter some stories will have a longer analytical sections other stories a short analysis is sufficient for some stories you may want to include more quotes other stories just a few will be enough because the relevance of the story is not in the language it is in the narrative is in the plot in the twists in the characters but the language itself is, is not so significant so you can be flexible from one story to the next let me show you what else you find in here and then I'll briefly introduce the first example so you start understanding what I meant I've added quick keywords right as I said before if you don't want to flip through the pages use these keywords that's fine your research is not every short story in this magazine no three that are good stories and good enough for the project so keep in mind that the term automobile was very common and there were other terms some of which have not survived in our language automobile as a verb is used in those texts automobilist or also abbreviated as autoist automobility and motor could be a reference to a car together with words such as motor in motor car as an hyphenated word two words single word motorist motorism anti-motorism motor man with a hyphen or without chauffeur a driver especially higher driver but also the feminine chauffeurs there are all kinds of vehicles right and here you find some examples including some that have not survived an auto cycle is a simple small car with wheels that are almost like the wheels of a bicycle and I included some false positives just to remind you that if you find a lot of references to the word car it may not be a text about the car at all right for example the car the word car during this period by itself was used to designate a train car or a trolley car or even a horse car a carriage cab was not necessarily a taxi cab with an engine machine was not necessarily just a car etc and these are the three examples 
As I said, I will use one for my demo in class, but look at the others as well, because you'll see what I mean when, when I refer to the idea of finding something where the automobile is particularly relevant to the story, where the story is aligned to the topics of this class. Okay, and you can click on the link. Uh, and you can do so at home, but even now, if you want to follow on your computer, you can go to that page. This was, right, the first one is titled Von Plumer's New Auto by TM, and it didn't take me long, really. Within a minute, I found that the name of TM was Thomas Lansing Masson, and it appeared first in Life, July 28, issue 1904, was also published in at least one other magazine, was also published in a collection of short stories by this author. That's how I identified who TM was. Again, just a possibility. So I'm here. This time I've used Google Books. That's fine. For a single item, that's more than fine. Let me show as much as I can of this. And again, if I were simply flipping through the pages of this issue, I would not only notice auto in the title, but also the illustration that would prompt me to stop and see if this is a short story that I could, can use. But the same is true if I'm looking for keywords. And I'll read with you the first column because right away you'll see not only why I chose the story, but what use I could make of it in my catalog of the story. At last, our happiness is complete. There was a light of supreme joy in Von Blumer's eyes. There was gladness in his voice. There was a suppressed but nonetheless real attitude of unqualified satisfaction in his whole manner as he spoke to his wife. Yes, darling, he continued, I skip a few lines, at last we can live, I have bought an automobile. This, these two paragraphs by themselves, three paragraphs, actually by themselves, give me the sense that this story is very relevant, right? We have a couple, the man has just purchased their first automobile, and the way he presents this purchase is that their life is now complete. Or, in other words, to paraphrase the language found in the beginning of this story, they can start living now, living life at their fullest, because the automobile will afford that experience, will afford their lifestyle to expand in ways that cannot be imagined. Right? So, this tells you that the car in the story plays a big enough role to make it relevant for our project. And later on, I can show you through the template with what we can do with the various sections. Right? We have the reaction of the wife, and the wife will tell the husband, if you read by yourself what follows, oh, you bought an automobile, you had always told me that you would never do so, that automobiles were unreliable, right? And the husband proceeds to say, yes, every other automobile, but not this one, right? And there is this aspect that we found before, even in Molly Randolph's story, the idea that my car is unique, my product is unique, which is something anyone can still do, right? Oh yeah, Android phones are terrible, but mine is different. Mine is unique is superior, or the opposite. The, the iPhone 12 is, is not good, but the 15 is perfect, or something along those lines. And the husband proceeds to illustrate in the rest of the column how the car he bought, a fictional <laughs> brand or model called the Road Run, is superior to any other uh, car. I'll just focus on the last paragraph in the first column, where the husband says, fortunately, he replied, this is not a question of belief. 
the fact that the car is technologically superior. But one of personal observation founded upon the laws of logic being of a mechanical turn of mind, so you see how the identity of the character is redefined by the interaction with the technology. Now that he, that he has purchased an automobile, he says, I am a man of a mechanical turn of mind, meaning I'm a different species in society. I'm technologically inclined. I'm predisposed to the interaction with the technology, right? So he's redefining his profile in reference to the technology. Now he has become someone who's, who has a mechanical mind. And it's easy to guess what the wife would respond. The wife will say, really? That's news to me because in the house you, you're not able to fix anything, right? Where is your mechanical mind when it comes to fixing the sink or doing any other kind of work? To which the husband will have to respond, oh, but cars are different, right? It's a special kind of technology. It's an elevated technology for an elevated man with an elevated mind, right? And you have this construction of the technology as some of the automobile as something different. And all of this can be easily understood, found in the story and then Tran transferred into your project, right? And this is the continuation, which I just summarized. Um, for example, in here, but the husband says, when it comes to mechanics, when it comes to logical adjustments of intricate machinery, that's where I live meaning this technology makes you more than just an artisan, meaning the plumber has a mechanical mind at the level of manual labor, but the car requires intellect. And you see how this technology is being made, represented as different from any other technology. Okay? So what follows is that the husband is home, but the car is not there. The car is not ready. He will pick up the car, so he says, don't worry, I'm going to pick up the car. By three, I'll be back. You'll hear the horn, and you'll see this beauty coming by. And of course, the wife stays home. Quarter to three, five minutes to three, three thirty, five. The husband is nowhere to be seen. And she's worried. She doesn't know where he is, what might have happened. He comes in in the third column with the car being towed by another car because the car broke down, was not working. This allegedly superior, perfect kind of car model had its first breakdown on the first ride, the first day with the first new owner, right? And, and the wife, of course, will continue to have this detached, humorous uh, view of the situation, oh, the, that's the new car, that's the perfect car, right? And the husband will have to turn into the fanatic supporter of the technology and insist, no, no, it's fine, it's great, nothing to do with the car. The first issue is the battery. Uh, the, the batteries were completely discharged and the car could not continue. And, and that's the first issue. The couple will continue to have issues with the car and more importantly, they'll be confronted by a neighbor. This neighbor, by the name of Cattersby, Catterby, is not a friend of the automobile. Quite the opposite. is an enemy of the automobile and a friend of horses. And he'll say, oh, you bought a car and it's already broken, right? And von Blumer will say, no, no, no. The car is here but we're not taking it out because we want to take it out when it's cooler in the evening. And also because he says, I came here so fast that I'm still rattled. And, and you find a beautiful reference to this idea of the automobile. Um, let's say The neighbor will say, I knew it, said Catterby. What is it? What is it that broke down? It's this, 
said von Blumer, I'm trying to get my breath. This idea that the automobile ride was such a strenuous exercise and such a thrill that is somewhat rattled. I came out from the station, meaning the place where he took the car, where the car was delivered, so deuced fast that I'm really afraid to go out in it again. I haven't gotten thoroughly familiar with it, so I'm going to wait until the cool of the evening. Of course, they cannot go out during the evening, there will be another problem. Uh, they cannot go out the next day, there will be another problem. Finally, they go out, this couple will go out, and uh, uh, they experience the car, right? Uh, and the speed of the, of the car, which makes for some interesting passages. Trying to find something worth reading. Down the road they went at a great pace. They switched around corners, they dashed along turnpikes. How is it, said von Blumer, as were the teeth clenched? One hand grasping the steering apparatus, the other on the clutch, he bent forward like a jockey winning a race. So you have this <laughs> representation of the physical interaction with the car and the tension as well. On and on they went. It seemed as if they were covering the whole state. Splendid. Have you any idea of where you're going? Says the wife and he says, don't worry because the car is such that we can always go home. But at the end of the story, they start climbing a hill, they lose power, and of course the car starts going back faster and faster because of the steep incline of the hill until someone says, turn here, turn here. They turn into the lawn in front of the house, they stop there, both the husband and wife descend and they say, back your machine in here, in here. They, they do so, and she says, I'll never ride in that thing again as long as I live. Right? That's the theme of separation from the technology. Von Bloomer, the husband, experiencing that revulsion of feeling that sometimes comes after a crisis, jumped down and faced her. Nor I, he exclaimed. I'll sell the blade thing for 30 cents. Darling, I'm an ass. I've had the fever, right? the addiction to the technology, and I'm over it, horses for me. And after that declaration, they discover the man who told them back in here is the neighbor, Catterby, who, of course, can revel in, in this discovery. But altogether, it's a perfect pattern for the description of the interaction with the technology, with some fascination, anticipation, seduction, rapture, and then the addiction to speed, the redefinition of the identity. But then at the end, especially because this is 1904, you have the consequences and the separation from the technology. We've tried it, that's enough, that's not for us. And this makes it very interesting.